On June 8, 2015, some concerning events unfolded in the nursery of the Countess of Chester Hospital. At first, a healthy baby boy became very ill and sadly passed away while the nurses were on their night shift. This was quite strange because the baby had been perfectly fine earlier that day. Everyone was taken by surprise because there were no signs that anything was wrong. Then, something similar happened to the twin sister of the baby boy. She also became extremely sick and suddenly collapsed just a day after her brother's passing. Doctors were puzzled about what could be causing this. After investigating, they discovered that there was extra air in the baby's bellies, almost as if someone had deliberately put it there. This raised a lot of concern among the doctors and nurses, and they began to suspect that something was suspicious. But hold on, this pattern doesn't stop here. The scenario presented in this case closely mirrors a storyline one might find in a horror movie. Nonetheless, I regularly share true crime stories and unsolved mysteries on this channel. If this is your cup of tea, I'd greatly appreciate your support through a subscription, it goes a long way. Before we dive further into the case let us explore the city in England. Chester, a city steeped in history and brimming with character, is a gem nestled in the northwest of England. With roots tracing back to Roman times, this city carries an air of timeless elegance combined with a vibrant modern spirit. Its well-preserved medieval architecture stands as a living testament to its rich past. Nestled in the scenic landscape of Chester, a historic city steeped in charm and heritage, lies the Countess of Chester Hospital. This hospital serves as a vital hub for healthcare in the region. Chester itself boasts a rich history dating back to Roman times, with its well-preserved medieval architecture and charming streets. The Countess of Chester Hospital is strategically located within this picturesque city, offering its services to the local community and beyond. Situated in close proximity to the River Dee, the hospital provides a crucial healthcare lifeline in a city renowned for its beauty and cultural significance. Born on January 4, 1990, Lucy Letby was the lone child of a finance manager and an accounts clerk. Her upbringing took place in Hereford, where she attended Elston School and Hereford Sixth Form College for her education. Her own challenging birth experience left a deep impression on her, and a friend who had known her since secondary school revealed that Lucy held a profound gratitude toward the nurses who played a role in saving her life during that critical time. In September 2011, she accomplished a significant milestone as the first member of her family to graduate from university. One of Lucy's friends described her as somewhat reserved and enthusiastic about intellectual pursuits. The sequence of events began with the first suspicious case occurring on June 8, 2015. At 8 p.m., a healthy baby boy, one of twins, was under the care of Lucy Letby in nursery one of the ward. The boy had been handed over to Letby during her night shift, around 30 minutes into her duty. About 26 minutes later, she urgently called a doctor as the baby's condition deteriorated rapidly, and the baby passed away within half an hour, less than 90 minutes into Letby's shift. I've never heard anything like it since. It was screaming. It was screaming, and I was like, what? what's the matter with him? Child F, the twin of child E, experienced a sudden drop in blood sugar and an inexplicable surge in heart rate. Tests indicated he had been given an excessive amount of insulin. In April 2016, Letby was transferred to day shifts, and daytime collapses began. Concerns about Letby were voiced to hospital management on October 23, 2015, after child I's fourth collapse. The child's mother received a sympathy card from Letby on the day of the funeral. Further collapses and deaths ensued, leading to child N's traumatic throat injury and the eventual collapses of triplets child O and child P within hours of each other on June 23rd and 24, respectively. The anomalies were significant. Despite typically experiencing two to three deaths annually, the unit saw four deaths in just June and August 2015. Moreover, the infants did not respond to resuscitation attempts as anticipated, unlike usual cases. Around three weeks after child P's death, Letby was taken off duty, and the mysterious collapses ceased. A consultant-led internal assessment highlighted four unexplained collapses, three of which were fatal, all occurring within the same month. Lucy Letby was consistently on duty during these incidents. On July 3, 2018, Lucy Letby was arrested by the police on suspicion of eight counts of murder and six counts of attempted murder, which followed a year-long investigation.
Oh, you see this? Yeah. I'll let my name chest, please. Okay, step in two seconds. Oh, yes? Yeah, thank you. Yeah, you've got a problem. Yeah. I'm going to put you in the back seat over here. Hold on, Matt. Yeah. Okay, you have to take a seat in there for me, Lucy. I'll move that seat forward a bit. Sure. Yeah, I just had new surgery. So oh, right, okay. During the course of this trial, you have coldly denied any responsibility for your wrongdoing and sought to attribute some fault to others. You have no remorse. There are no mitigating factors. In their totality, the offences of murder and attempted murder were of exceptionally high seriousness and just punishment, according to law, requires a whole life order. Lucy Letby, on each of the seven offences of murder and the seven offences of attempted murder, I sentence you to imprisonment for life. Because the seriousness of your offences is exceptionally high, I direct that the early release provisions do not apply. The order of the court, therefore, is a whole life order on each and every offence, and you will spend the rest of your life in prison. On August 21, 2023, let me receive a life sentence with a whole life order, making her one of the few women in UK legal history to receive such a severe sentence. After the trial, Letby was transferred to HMP Low Newton, a closed prison for women in County Durham. Thank you for joining us on this captivating journey through the world of solved cold cases. If you have more cases in mind that you'd like us to explore, don't hesitate to share your recommendations in the comments below. Remember to subscribe to Crime Time Report so you never miss an episode as we continue to dive into the depths of justice. Hit that subscribe button and stay connected for more gripping stories. Until next time, stay curious and stay informed.